Hello everybody, I want to invest $100 for an NFT, so at least it should be something for my brother's birthday and I want to buy something for him. He should get started with the NFT market because I want to have him in this market too. And if you're facing to the same or similar issue, you want to bring your loved ones into the NFT market in this kind of business where they can take a lot of profit or they can do funny stuff with it. You will come into many questions where I'm going to face with you together right now in this video. So just to let you know, at least if you invest $100, you will come out with $200 because the gas fee. What this is going to mean, I will show you afterwards. <laughs> Hi, my name is Don. Welcome to Peak DeFi. At first, we need to check something in OpenSea. The OpenSea market is one of the biggest marketplaces for the Ethereum and also for the NFT market. The NFT marketplace with everything for everyone, including people who don't really know what NFTs are, in which case, deep breath. NFTs can be art, virtual experiences, your favorite band's demo, virtual property. What? Basically, any digital unique thing that can be bought, sold, or traded online. And OpenSea's got them all. Art, music, experiences, some fun stuff from Shawn Mendes. So no matter what you're looking for, you'll find it here. We even show you their entire trading history, so you can see every owner. You were asked for a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have it now, it's easy to get. MetaMask, your connection to the new web. MetaMask is the tool Sam needs to access this new world. It's a key that connects her to new types of applications. It's a wallet that keeps her data and valuables safe and sound. It's easy to download the plugin, especially for Chrome, install it and get your MetaMask wallet. My brother, especially, he likes donuts. So I'm thinking about what should I'm giving to him? What can I give him there? I don't know exactly. So right now this year, he has a lot to do with donuts for special. He likes donuts, he opens a donut store. So I'm going to search for something like donuts now. And OpenSea's got them all. So at first I'm going to OpenSea.io and there are two possibilities. You can explore or create. In this case, I want to explore because I'm not here as a, a creator anymore. I'm just looking for something for his birthday. Maybe it should be a donut nft there's this mario uh, donut nft let me open that to you so if i would buy that it will cost me 194 dollar and 11 cents in that case so this is quite much over the budget where i have thought in the beginning if i sort it from low to high maybe i can find some much cheaper so there are some things which doesn't fit to donuts makes any sense and there's something i really like this one let's have a check on the one donuts bakery so although we are just buying a free nft right now it may be possible that you can increase in value with this nft and make profit out of it later i will show you some indicators where you can have a very very good success with this strategy so it has around 1100 items 413 owners has no floor price so we can check why what is the floor price floor price is the lowest price for collection items rather than the average item price and is updated in real time dutch auctions are not included in floor price calculations the floor price means you have zero floor price and one two three four pieces which is sold for zero ethereum so it's not completely free because you have the gas fee you need to calculate an account in it um it's completely free for from the seller so if you're going and buying now you should check your metamask wallet so i'm going to open it and the total of it it's not exactly zero ethereum like you have seen it so the estimated gas fee here is around 108 euro uh, right now 120 and if you're going to edit you can also choose a lower price not really lower could be cheaper sometimes gas fee explained gas fees are payments made by users to compensate for the computing energy required to process and validate transactions on the ethereum blockchain Gas limit refers to the maximum amount of gas or energy 
that you're willing to spend on a particular transaction. Because there's something for zero Ethereum or zero dollar, it doesn't mean it will cost you nothing. So it may be that I'm going to mint it or buy it with a gas fee also. It definitely depends on how busy the Ethereum network is. So the gas fee should be around $20 to $100. Sometimes it's going to reach $300. This means how many people are on trying to buy NFTs all at one time or using the Ethereum network for transaction. So here we are coming to the next question. When is the gas fee the lowest? So this is a question you should be asking yourself before sending funds over the Ethereum network where some other days are better for lower fees than others aiming to use alternative blockchains such as Polygon or BSC, so Binance, are perfectly good options for crypto transaction, which will save tons in terms of transaction fees. However, if you still want to use Ethereum for sending funds, it's the best time to perform transaction over the weekend or early in the morning between 1 and 3 a.m. UTC. This should be the best time to have the lowest Ethereum gas fees. Another factor for the cost is the time. There are usually free transaction speeds from low to high you can choose. You can choose from direct transfer from one hour up to 10 hours or more. Depends on the blockchain technology where you are using. So wish me luck. Hopefully that's shouldn't matter too much right now. Because the strategy I'm going to give you guys in this video, you should be able to wait five to 10 hours or even a day to buy your NFT. You can wait for the gas price to calm down. Possibly I'm going to invest in any project with any value behind this project because the budget for this is very quite low. So to show you the indicator, it's because there's way too much right now. It's pretty hard to manage on a hundred dollar budget if you see it on a marketplace, just because the winning projects are wide over and above hundred dollar. The best way is to find a project to begin. I think that is your best buy to buy from the secondary marketplace. There's a chance that you can find projects before you have no come out or officially released and then go to the website and buy them at mint price. So right now we have a check on the website. Is the minting price of this project really cheaper than the gas price? So I was searching for the website. It's still looking good. Everything is fine. Nice style, very clean. So it looks very trustful. And also if I'm checking the roadmap, so they're having like a lot of things on coming and very, very uh, early to have discovered this project. So it has around 1,500 mints planned and they already started the small cell. However, the first big launch in Decentraland, this is a Decentraland project, which is all going to be in the metaverse. Uh, this will reach when you have 2,500 mints. So we are still early for this project. The minting for that, it's quite, quite cheap for sure. I think 120, 130 dollars somehow. It doesn't mean this is going to be cheaper comparison to the open C product. Usually the mint price will be lower than what you will have to pay in a secondary market. You also have to take the initial investment risk of not knowing how many people are going to buy into the collection or if you're going to get a desirable artwork. So let's have a talk about the ownership. Another indicator is checking the ownership. In that case, I have like 1,100 items and quite good 413 owner so it might be a good community it's not that much so this project just started right now so it's quite good for it starting so in comparison the board ape yacht club is quite much more owners so you have 6000 owners on 10000 items this is pretty good and makes sense for a good good community but the floor price of 51 ethereum this means the cheapest one should be around 200000 dollar that's so much money and too much money for a little birthday present for me now. The value of an NFT project and whether one is undervalued or overvalued now. I usually recommend you that you shouldn't invest in a project that has less than 
2000 or 2500 owners you really want to see a project hit this free salt especially if they have 10,000 assets because right now we have only 1000 assets it's like a good ratio like at least 40 percent are the owners so it's good and also on the other hand the project is still still in the early stage don't forget that and and if i check the discord channel there was a lot of activities of the small community So this project has a higher potential and, and I'm pretty sure this was the best choice I can do to buy an NFT as a present on a $100 budget. It has a nice art style, it has a good chance with many good indicators to raise up in price after the team of one donut bakery will deliver the next steps in the roadmap and become more famous or maybe when they start their real marketing. And don't forget we often give gifts to reconfirm or establish our connection with our loved ones which means that the gift is the reflection of both the giver and the receiver and as well their unique relationship and giving a gift to someone we care about allows us to communicate our feelings and appreciation for them and the nft is not only a hype it will stay forever in a blockchain and it will be hard to lose and more harder to get destroyed and it will stay forever in the blockchain. I wish you a happy giving, happy for your birthday, happy Merry Christmas or whatever you want to do with this NFT.